Hey, Smile Straw. Good morning. Happy Sunday. If it's Sunday, if you're watching this, or happy whatever day you're watching this. In this video today, I'm going to be giving y'all two tips to elevate your curls, okay? So your curls can be nice and defined, and it has a definition. First thing I'm going to tell you, if you if you want your curls to look defined and hydrated and pop, you want to make sure your hair is like really, really moisturized. More in particular, like if you're doing a curl definition service or you're doing AKA the wash and go, the biggest tip I can tell you is make sure your hair is moist, okay? Don't try to do a wash and go on like, how I want to say it, if your hair is like mostly dry. You want to keep like a water bottle handy, okay? Keep a water bottle or a spray bottle handy so in case as you're working on other sections, you can mist your hair with the water. This is very important because our curls love water, okay? It thrives off of water. So when it comes to defining your curls, water is your best friend. I got a whole bug up in this car. Um... So yeah, our curls thrive off water. Always remember that. And then also remember keeping it moisturized. And I can't stress this enough that when your hair stays hydrated, that it allows your curls to be more defined and it pop more. And just to give y'all more in detail, what I mean by hydrated, before you do a wash and go, you need to make sure that you're already taking care of your hair on a regular basis. Like, if you're someone and you have not been taking care of your hair, like, by keeping it moisturized, your wash and go probably ain't going to come out right. Or your curl definition ain't going to come out right. So, make sure that you are already keeping up with your hair care regimen. And I have mentioned this before when I talk about... um people getting silk presses and the reason why some people's silk presses don't last is because sometimes your hair is just not healthy and when your hair is just not healthy it's going to frizz quicker than normal it's not going to cooperate it's not going to hold the style a long time and that's why some of y'all washing goes probably are not lasting a long time either or you're probably not getting the results you want it's because your hair is in a, in a very unhealthy state so I've heard people say, yeah, it looks good when it's wet, but when it dry, it looks terrible. Well, it goes back to maybe your hair is not able to attain the moisture in it for long periods of time. And that could be the, the lack of getting treatments. That's why <clears throat> in my shop, I include treatments in the service price because your hair is going to, every time you come to me on a consistent basis, you're going to get a treatment. Okay. So... That's the first thing I'm going to tell y'all. Make sure your hair stays hydrated, especially as you're doing the the service on yourself and you define the curls, you're doing the wash and go. You want to stay, stay hydrated, but even in between that, you want to make sure you are either getting treatments or, yeah, you're getting treatments on your hair and you're using moisturizing products, okay? And if you need some moisturizing products to use, I have some in my, the link in my description box. So you, you want to make sure you're using a moisturizing shampoo and conditioner. And I have the honey almond. I have the coconut milk shampoo that is in my description box. Okay, so the second tip I'm going to give you as far as getting your curls defined and having a successful wash and go is working small sections. Yeah, work in small sections. Now, don't rush and don't rush through this service. And now, more so in particular, speaking to my women who have like very, very thick, high density, coarse hair, you cannot rush through this. That's why, I mean, I say wash and go, but I use my term curl definition service. Really, it's a wash and work. The only ones that can really like work in large sections and it don't really bother them is those who might have low density hair, meaning they don't have a lot of hair strands per square. So they can kind of like probably do this in the shower and then get out and be done or do this in like five minutes and get out and be done. Like I know my nieces, 
they can well they they do got some they do got they got thick hair but it's fine if that makes sense they have um fine strands but they're able to kind of like go through their hair pretty quickly you know and work the product just brush the product through and then be done with it but i'm just here to tell you if you have thick hair thick strands and then on top of that you have high density hair you're gonna have to take your time there's no such thing as your wash and go don't think you can just do this in the shower and then you go no i had to tell my friend the other day and she was just like can i just do this in the shower it's supposed to be a wash and go i'm like no y'all get the term mixed up because some people can just wash it and go but i mean you can wash and go but you can have an afro puff and there's nothing wrong with afro puff if that's the look you was going for okay so we gotta know what we're going for but if you're looking for definition um of your curls you're gonna have to take your time and use small sections and i know some people are like well why i'm gonna do all that i might as well two straight and twist my hair and do a twist out and yeah you can but that curl definition it gives you more definition to your hair so the second tip is work in small sections take your time and if you do this the right way you will notice that you have super defined hair and that curl definition can at least last you a week at least if not more, I, I stretch mine out personally. I try to stretch mine out to like a week and a half because I do puffs and all that other kind of stuff. But it's going to last you. It's going to last you if you do it right. So those are just two quick tips just to help y'all if you want to do the curl definition service. Now, if I explain all this and you're like, Lisa, I have tried that and that don't work. You know what I'm saying? That, that does not work for my hair. Like I cannot do that. Okay, so you're one of the ones that either, number one, you probably need to book a hair appointment with me, uh, and then I can show you doing a hair appointment, or you can book a one-on-one coaching session. I'll do them via Zoom, or I'll do them via in-person. So if you want to do an in-person uh, demo, you can uh, definitely email me. I need to get that set up on my website, but if you're watching this video and I haven't got it set up on my website yet, just email me and we can set up an in-person um, coaching session. The other option you can do is you can sign up for my class. I do have a class on this and I go in detail um, and show you how to do the curl definition uh, using the products. Okay. Also, um, one of the, I, I use my product line now, which is Marie's Legacy, to do all my washing curl definition so if you go look at my youtube page last couple of videos i do have some videos up there of curl definition okay so i hope these two quick tips kind of help oh y'all see me glowing this morning <laughs> let me go ahead and plug myself commercial break if y'all like this glow that's on my chest right now and it's on my face uh, i am the owner and the creator of the all natural the million dollar glow butter okay so you can be out here glowing on this beautiful sunday okay about to glow my way right to church this morning so yeah you can um click the link in the description box and somebody asked me a really good question in the comments of the day and they asked was the glow butter hypoallergenic and the answer is yes and more in particular the unscented glow butter so if you someone you have like super sensitive skin stick to using the original glow butter which is the unscented glow butter um you shouldn't have any issues with it but i also have scented glow butters like the lavender uh I have eucalyptus mango caribbean escape baby powder honey almond uh, marie glows and call me zaddy which is a uh, masculine scent for all those musky men out there you can get that body butter massage on that beard okay I don't know why I got sassy right there, but I, I feel like I'm getting sassy. But yeah, that's all, y'all. <coughs> if you made it to look, if you made it to this point in the video, you might as well go ahead and like it. I know you forgot to hit like when you first clicked on it, so I'm reminding you now. And I'm gonna just go ahead and thank in advance for liking it. And I'm gonna go ahead and thank in advance for subscribing to the channel and also becoming a member if the Lord leads you. Okay. So thank y'all so much for watching this video, and I will see y'all in another one. Bye! <laughs>